Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to calculate range of a variable. Like uh, in program in programming, when we declare a variable, that variable is having a particular memory size, and that memory size actually define what will be the range of variable. So in this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to um, how to identify that range if we know the memory size. So let's start with a very basic. Let's say we are having a variable and that variable is a. And this variable, let's say the size of this variable is one bit. Okay, now so this is the memory for this variable. So in this one bit, this variable either can have 0 or it can have 1 because data in computer is stored in binary format so there are only two kind of digit like 0 and 1 so what are the number of data 2 so this variable can store only two different values okay only two different values and what are those values so if we see these value in decimal as well, so this is the decimal of 0 and this is the, if we convert this binary to decimal, we will get 1. So here I am writing, if a variable is having one data size, so it can store 0 and 1 and the total number of value it can store 2. Now come back here. Now let's say we are having a variable and this variable is having memory 2 bit. So now there are 2 bits are allocated. So what are the different kind of data it can store? So in 2 bit it can store either 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. It can store only these four different combination. So in case of two bit data size, the total number of combinations are four, or we can say the total number of values are four. And if we check their decimal, so this is the binary for decimal zero. This is the binary for decimal one. This is the binary for decimal two, and this is the binary for decimal. 3. So these value will be 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay. So uh, <coughs> uh, I'm just considering the positive value. I will tell you for negative value as well. Now let me take a variable with 3 bit data size. So in this case, if you want to know what are the different possible data that can be stored so if we start creating those combination we will get like 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 so what are the total number of combination? 8. Like whatever data you will store in the, these three digits, that data will be one of them. So this memory can store only 8 different values. So the number of values different are 8 in case of 3 bits. And what are those values? So if we check, it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven. So here I'm going to write those value. Now, if you can see, there is a relationship there is a, between number of bits and the total number of values. And what is that? This is this one bits total value so 
So um, if I'm having a four bit variable, so here I'm taking four bits. So no, no need to go for this combination. So I'm just going to put this data in this formula. So two to the power four, and uh, what is that? This is sixteen. So in this case, the in case of four bits, total number of values will be sixteen. And what what will be the value? So if we you check if you are having two values are zero one four zero one two three eight zero one two three four five six seven. So one less than this total number of values. So in this case, values will be zero to fifteen. So now let's say we want to find out what is the range for integer variable in C. So as we know that in C the data size for a integer variable is 2 byte so in 2 byte we can say 16 bits so if we can put this data here so what we will get this data so integer variable can store value from 0 to 65535 so this is the positive range or you can say unsigned 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 means we are not considering negatives now the thing is that what if we want to consider negative as well so let me take a new one just wait let me in this one So this is our positive range and now we are going to see for negative. Okay. So when we consider negative, so the first bit, the first bit actually represent sign and for negative number first bit is 1. So if we look at here and we are considering that this variable can store positive and negative both kind of values. So now this value represents a positive number. Okay. And uh, this will be 0. This also a positive. And this also will be let's say one and these two will be considered as negative okay so these two numbers will be considered as negative now the thing is that what are those numbers so in C programming our anti negative values are stored in uh, using two's complement. So if you somehow calculate two's complement of these two number, you will get the corresponding integer. No, so we are not going in that calculation. So simply, I'm just telling you, uh, whenever we will see any combination, so half of the combination will be positive, and half of the combination will be for negative. Okay, so we can say if a, in a variable having four different values, so it means there will be two negative value and two positive values. And if we specify the range for that, so let's say zero, zero will be considered as positive. So zero, one. So two positive done. Now we need to write two negative minus one minus two. So this will be the range for this case now what will be the range signed range for this one so 0 1 2 3 4 values for positive and minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 these four value for negative and the similar case for our integer with uh, 16 bits or 
I can say two bytes. So the total value were 65,536. So half of these value will be negative, half of these value will be positive. So half of this number is this one. So the range will be minus 32. 1768 0 32 7, 7, uh, 32,767 so this is the range for integer variable so this is the way you can find out the range of any variable uh, if the memory size given to you thank you very much for